I'm Alex Curtis with the Creators Freedom Project and we're here with another video to talk about the new tools, strategies, and techniques to help artists make a living from their creativity. Mobile music. It's not exactly a new concept and it's been around for a lot longer than the iPod has. But it's beginning to change. The services that you traditionally get via the internet on your computer and increasingly on the TV in front of you at home Services like Pandora, Ardeo, Spotify, Grooveshark, Rhapsody. All these services are going mobile. That alone has been happening for a few years. But I think the big change that we're going to find this year is our ability to use them in our regular day lifestyle, just like we listen to radio. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Increasingly, car manufacturers are making it really easy to connect your mobile phone to your car. Many of the technologies let you play music from your mobile phone on your car stereo. These features aren't just reserved for the high-end vehicles, they're now being made available and standard on some of the lowest-end vehicles. The car I'm sitting in is a late model Mazda 3, and it comes with Bluetooth kit. The Bluetooth technology lets your phone talk to your car stereo. You just select what output you want, your phone or the car, and instantly it starts playing through your car stereo. You can also use the native controls in your car to change the volume, or to change the track you're listening to. And it's not just in the iPod that this works. If we switch over to an app like Pandora, all of a sudden we have all the options of Pandora built into our car stereo. We can turn up the volume and change to the next track. And the advantage of these streaming music services, you tell them the music you like, and then they build playlists based on your preferences. Hear a song you like? Click like it or thumbs up. Hear a song you don't like? Click thumbs down or don't like and automatically the next song will start playing. These apps are already taking advantage of capabilities built into cars like from Mini and from Ford so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel just to change playlists or tell it whether you like a song or not. I think 2011 is going to be a huge year for streaming radio and that's all because we're able to listen to it in our cars. That's going to be great for two big reasons. For consumers, it's going to be a great opportunity to find and listen to new music. Whether it's the specific genre you enjoy or music that sounds like one of your favorite artists, these services are doing a great job of introducing us to new tracks. It's also going to provide great opportunities for artists. If you're an artist, you may know how difficult it is to get your song played on the radio. But in these services, often it's just a submittal process. Some of them are actually providing great analytics tools to artists to find out how many tracks are being listened to, where those songs are being listened to, and even promotional tools to help your song get into people's radio streams. It's something we'll be talking about in later episodes. So now more than ever there's great opportunities to get your song heard and get your song in front of your new biggest fan.